Welcome to Script Learners. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to discuss a very interesting problem that was asked in the CAP Gemini Java coding interview round. Candidate had two years of experience. The interview was based on REST APIs, Core Java, Hibernate, and Spring Boot concepts. In this video, we will be covering the coding question part only. So, before jumping into the problem, I would like to request you guys to please subscribe our channel. We create awesome interview preparation related videos on a regular basis. Make sure to subscribe our channel. By getting a subscription, we'll get more motivation to create such amazing and free interview preparation related videos. We are also planning to create some good tutorials on data structures and algorithm through Java. So please stay tuned and subscribe our channel. Also hit the like button. So let's discuss the problem. So the problem statement states that convert the time from 12 hour AM PM format to military that is 24 hour time where 12 AM is equivalent to 0 hours and 0 minutes and 12 PM is equivalent to it, it will remain same on the 24 hour clock take the input in in a string okay so I hope you will under, uh, you understood the problem. Let's also discuss this with the help of some examples. So here you can see this is the input uh, input in which uh, we'll get a string. So what we have to do, we have to convert this input into the military hour time format. It is currently in the 12 uh, hour time format. So here you can see it is 2, 2 p.m. So it will get converted into 14, 14 hours in one minute time zone. So this is equivalent to uh, what military uh, time zone states. Similar with the other example. So here you can see the time is 12.23 am. So it got converted into 0.23 as uh, in military time zone the 12 am is equal to zero same with other example 11 45 am will remain same as it's in the upper half of the military time zone 5 29 pm will get converted into 17 29 as it's in the second half so i hope you understood the problem the problem statement is very uh, simple and straightforward so let's jump into the coding part so I will create a new class here. Let me name it as Cap Germany Interview One. Okay, and I'll also select the public static void main here. Yeah. So. I have created a detailed video on what is public static void main. This is a very important interview question. Make sure to check it out. I'll drop the link here in the top right corner. So let me import the required packages. I'll do import java dot util dot asterisk. Yes. Now what I will do. I will create a scanner class object in order to take input from user. So I will do scanner sc new scanner system dot in. Now I will create a string string s sc dot next line I'll take the input from user now what I will do I will extract the first two digits of the string as if you will notice here carefully we have to handle only two edge cases one is when the time is given in the uh, second half that is in the pm so if time is in in the pm zone 
then we we have to convert it into uh, the military time zone as time present in am zone is remain same so first edge case will be this that if it's in pm then we'll have to convert this and the second edge case is if the time is 12 am so in that case we'll have to convert that into zero right so these are the only two edge cases that we have to handle so for that what i will do uh, and if you carefully observe here we will have to convert the hours only we are not converting uh, the minutes as the minutes will remain same so for that i will extract uh, the hours from the the given uh, string so what i will do i will create a variable i'll do i'll name it as it hour and in order to get uh, the substring from uh, the pa parent string and in order to convert that into the integer what we do we do integer dot pass int okay and in that what i will do i will calculate the substring okay substring and i'll pass the index the starting index and the ending index okay ending index plus 1 right because the end, the ending index here is the exclusive one it will take 0 and 1 in this case so the last index is usually the ending the desired ending and index plus 1 so that's why i did 2 here i did i wrote 2 here 2 here okay now what i will do if you will carefully notice here uh, in the output we are not uh, when there is no need to show the pm or am symbol we are directly returning the exact time as you know in the military time zone uh there is no reference of pm and am that's why so in order to do that what i will do i will extract the rest of the part that is from this column the hour column till last seconds this part into a substring into a different substring so i will create a string and i will name it as sub str and i'll create the substring here s dot substring and i'll pass the indexes here the starting index will be 2 as this colon is on the second index and the last index will be 8 right so now what i will do i will check the first condition if hour is equal to 12 and string contains am right so if the hour is 12 and the string is of a am category then what i will do first i will empty the current string and then i'll update it with 0 0 and rest of the substring that we calculated above okay this one so if you don't know we have a method in java dot contains method through which we can check the occurrence of a substring into the uh, particular string okay so this is the first edge case we have handled it successfully now let's handle the second edge case so the second case is where the hour is less than 12 right and as dot contains pm 
so if it falls in this category then what we will do first we will empty the current string then I will increment the hour with 12 right so in military time zone the hours gets added with 12 if it's in the PM time zone okay then what I will do I will concatenate this hour with the substring in order to get our final string so I will in order to convert if you if you will notice carefully here this hour is in int format so we, we have to convert it into the string so for that we will do string dot value of right and pass the hour in the argument and then I'll add sub str right okay if the time is uh, in the am zone and it's less than 12 then what we'll do we will simply update as with as dot substring from 0 till 8 that is the time will remain same here we are only eliminating the last uh, two characters that is the indicator the time zone indicator okay so yeah that's it now let me do a sys out here Yes, yes. Let me also do this out here. Okay, now let's run our code. Yep, so let's test this with the first test case. So yeah, here you can see the output is 14 hours and 1 minute, it is correct. Let's test this with the second test case. Let me run it again. It's 0 hours and 23 minutes, yeah correct. Let's also test this with second third test case. In this the output should remain same let's test this yeah the output is same only last uh, indicator has been eliminated let's also test the last test case yeah it is correct so that was all about this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe our channel guys drop a comment and let us know whether you want the complete interview experience of this particular company and do subscribe our channel guys and I'll drop the code uh, in this article you can find the code here and I'll paste the link of this question in the comment section make sure to check it out thank you guys